Warning. You are now tuned in to Seven Mile Radio. Seven Mile Radio. What is going on, everybody that is tuned in out there right now in the internet world, internet land, cyber land? Uh, what's going on? It's your boy Mark D, man. We are live on 7mileradio.com right now. And I have a special edition, a special broadcast of Word on the Street for you today uh, with, a, with a very, a very knowledgeable brother, man. A very good friend of mine, longtime friend, man, that has taught me a whole lot. Uh, about this certain industry that we're about to discuss, man, and um, it's a very, a very, uh, uh, I'm gonna say, important issue um, that this fills the void of, especially in the city of Detroit, where we have a lot of violence uh, that happens specifically uh, towards women, right? I mean, we know that that happens all over the world, all over the country, but uh, where we are right now in Detroit, man, we've seen a, a spike, and especially recently, man, uh, women and kids, uh, violent crimes that are are, are um, you know, that are committed against uh, women and kids, man. So I have a brother, a good brother of mine, man, that is here uh, today to talk about one of the things that he is doing to to combat that issue here in the city of Detroit and maybe uh, even in other places, man. I have a good brother by the name of Rick Ector uh, from Rick's Firearm Academy of Detroit joining me today. How you doing, good brother, sir? Hey, man. Every, Every day, day you get to see you is great, great man. man. Glad, glad to be here, here and uh, glad, glad to be on, on your show, show today, today, man. man. That's good, man. Good to hear, man. So we, uh, like I said, man, been 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 working with you for a long time, Rick. Been uh, watching you, and you've been watching me, and uh, you know you've been uh, doing this thing here particularly for a long time, man. We have a, a real big event that's coming up this weekend uh, on both days, on Saturday and Sunday. You are uh, putting together. You've organized once again. Uh, one of the greatest events of the year in the city of Detroit or in Southeast Michigan, I'll say that. Uh, we have this women's training event where you are training, giving free firearms training to, to women uh, in the state of Michigan. So so let us know a little bit about that, Rick. Yeah, yeah this, this uh, upcoming, upcoming weekend, weekend on, on this, this upcoming, upcoming uh, Saturday, Saturday and, and Sunday, Sunday, July 30th and 31st, there, there will be... Uh, and an awesome, awesome event, event. There, there will be free, free firearm training available for women. women. Uh, it, it will happen at two gun ranges, ranges simultaneously on both days, days that's Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. The two, two ranges, ranges at which this event will transpire will take place will, place. will be a recoil firearm and, and top gun shooting, shooting sports. sports. On, on both, both days, the event, event will start at 9, nine o'clock. And uh, people who have pre-registered will come at their appointed time. We have five time slots uh, for each day, Saturday and Sunday, also for each range. So if you have a particular range that you want to go to, uh, one versus the other, you know, you have the option of selecting which range you want to go to. If, if you, you have, have no, no idea, idea of what, what going, going to a gun, gun range, range is like, like uh, uh, just, just randomly, randomly pick, pick one and make a selection. I guarantee you, you will not be uh, dissatisfied with your election. Now, the question that inevitably probably comes to mind is, how can I find those links to actually register for the event? Mm -hmm. I have tried to judiciously place those links all over the place, hoping that people will stumble into them. However, since we're on, uh, I believe this is Facebook Live, I would first make the suggestion that you go over to uh, my Facebook business page. If you do that, it's at uh, facebook.com forward slash Michigan CCW, and you should see an event uh, listing and you could click into the event and then hit the link for some people that's a little too adventurous and then other people man they, they got off of facebook because they were dissatisfied with something i would just direct those people to go over to my blog my blog is legally armed in detroit.com and the very first article on that blog is an entry about the women's shooting event and it has all of the links listed sorted by date and gun range so you can quickly 
and easily figure out where you want to be. Click the link and register. And here's the thing. I'm not conducting the census when I put this information out here asking you to fill out a form. I just <laughs> want two very basic pieces of information. The first one is your name. I want your name. And no, I'm not affiliated with the government. If you want to, you can give me a fake name. Just remember the answer to it uh, when someone calls you. Give me your name and your email address. I need your email address because I'm going to send you an e-ticket to your email address. And so when you arrive to the venue, if there's a question as to whether you're registered for that time slot, you can easily easily and conveniently pull out your email notification and show it and verify that you're supposed to be at that range at that time on the appropriate day. Dig that, dig that. So now this is, as we said earlier, you've been doing this for, for quite some time. So this is your 11th annual. Uh, 11th, right? 11th annual, annual. Consecutive. Consecutive. Event, and I throw that consecutive in there, man, because we didn't take any years off, man. You know, a lot of events that a lot of people uh, wanted to attend, you know, like festivals and carnivals and auto shows and, and conferences and all of those things, they shut down, man. But uh, we took an abundance of precaution. You know, we listened to what the experts were saying, and then we <laughs> went above and beyond that, man. And we didn't have any issues during the event or in the aftermath. I'm glad that we kept rolling, man. As a matter of fact, the current high water mark for this event actually occurred in uh, 2020, man. Since there was, there was high interest in the event and there were other, a lack of other alternatives for people to explore, we had 1,938 people visit us that weekend. Wow. And, uh, yeah, I know. And, and see, here's the thing. I only had one gun range per day, one gun range on Saturday and one gun range on Sunday. And it was such an unexpected number of people, man, that, you know, folks had to wait a little bit before they got in. But well, that's a, that's, uh, I, sounds like a good problem to have, man, considering... You know. It is from from my standpoint, the promoter, man. But you know, I have to you know take it to a different level and say, okay, I have to, put you have to compensate that. The, yeah, I have to put myself in the shoes of of our visitors and our event participants and figure out what can I do to make it better. And to make it better is to expand capacity. So that very next year, last year, we went to two gun ranges per day for two days, and so. I'm going to, you know, try that again this year and hopefully everything works out, bears out. If there's enough uh, people interested in a free shooting lesson, you know, this format can continue. Otherwise, I may have to, you know, consider making some changes, maybe um, treat, you know, the uh, 2020 as an aberration and, and go back to normal. So we'll see if we have a new normal or if we can grow this thing beyond our current high water mark and see what can happen. Oh, well, yeah, we're going to try to uh, help you push, bro. Uh, um, absolutely. And, uh, you know, speaking of where the links are, you know, we posted that on our website as well, sevenmileradio.com uh, backslash Ricks. Uh, what did I say the name was? Well, let me not misquote it. It is actually Women's Firearm Training 2022. Sevenmileradio.com backslash Women's Firearm Training 2022. And you'll get all of the info, all of the links uh, the event bright uh, with the event bright links with the according dates and the according gun ranges as well uh, on the website for everybody to check out there as well. And you have a Facebook event uh, page as well, correct? Man, yeah. I You do not need anything to participate in this event. You know, I'm getting questions such as, do I need to bring anything? Do I need to bring, I need to bring a gun? Glasses? Do I need to bring earplugs? Do I need to bring a gun? Do I need to bring ammo? Do I need to bring a target? You do not have to bring anything. Just be there on time on the right day 
at the right range. And you'll know all that when you register because you'll be clicking for the range and the day and the time when you register. And if you happen to forget, you will get an email notification right after you sign up. And uh, if I'm really on it, I'll send out reminders, but I'm not committed to sending out a reminder. You know, it's not that many days ahead of time. And man, I have to do some fancy uh, data manipulation with large data sets of emails and trying to extract names and email uh, addresses. It's a lot of, data. lot of, lot of computer work to get that done. A whole lot of it's extra a, It can work. be done, man, but it's more work than I'm willing to invest. You know. <laughs> I, I mean, just you, imagine you. if you, you just imagine if you went manually into a thousand emails and had to look at each one of them and pull out the name and pull out, you know, what range they were going to and what time it would probably be impossible. To it wouldn't even be worth the event at that point. You know, it wouldn't even be. But worth then the trying event. to set up a system to programmatically do that, man, that's going to take a lot of time. And I don't think the payoff would be worth it. But uh, there it is. yeah, there I don't I don't think a few days before the event, you're going to forget where you're going to be. Plus, you're going to have an email, email reminder in your inbox. And when you get it, if you forget things. Set yourself an alert or an alarm on your phone right then and there, and bam, problem solved. So now, with this being something that you do, uh, you've done yearly, right? And I, I know you do to to be active in several different uh, gun advocate events throughout the year. Um, if, if someone wanted to contact you for uh, CPO classes regularly, is that something that they can get with you to uh, right now as well, or what? Yeah. I do that on a regular ongoing basis. As of right now, I haven't even attempted to even do anything of that nature because this event sucks up so much of my time. And one of the big challenges I have this year is making sure that I get the word out. And that's why I am so appreciative of you allowing me to be on the show, man, and uh, be able to talk to your audience. You know, it's been uh, nothing short of amazing watching your site blow up with all of the people that you have that like your page man and follow you you're you're like the guy here in this area with regards to getting the word out about various things but you've had some heavy hitters on this show man some really popular and famous people so yeah man, that yeah. really that really shouldn't be a surprise man i got a real popular and famous person on my show right now man and i have a pleasure oh, of uh, man, you know working with uh many times man <laughs> Many times, Please. many times, I bro. I was. <laughs> I wish but, I was, man. But I, like I said, I, I definitely appreciate the opportunity to come out onto the show. You know, I know it's kind of, you know, some people probably weren't expecting us to just pop in on the internet and, and have a conversation about the event. But if passerbys happen to come by, people are looking and watching, you know, definitely chime in and let us know what's on your mind. Um, if by chance you happen to catch this, uh, video somewhere out on facebook wherever youtube wherever we at youtube wherever you catch it you know watch it to the end and uh, hopefully we'll have all those questions answered if not just reach out to me on facebook with all the technology i'm using i'm actually doing a decent job of quickly following up with any questions that people may have but uh there's not really a lot of information people really need to know they need to know where to go to register how they're going to get notified by email, keep the email, show up on time. You don't need to bring anything, bring a positive attitude. And you know what? I probably shouldn't have to say this, man, but every so often there's at least one person that does it. Uh-oh. You know, I think I, I know, realize I, know I can feel it coming. There's certain things that <laughs> are legal in the state of Michigan and otherwise it is not going to be appropriate for you to be or to have indulged in some activities that leave a certain aroma, you know, in your presence. You know, and, uh, I'm trying to delicately say this. I can say it for you. You want me to say it for you? I can say it. Don't smoke weed before you come to the gun range, ladies and gentlemen, okay? It's illegal for you to have or be in the possession of illegal substances or, uh, 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 well, at this day and age, uh, altering substances, personality-altering substances, okay? And a firearm. They're not going to let you shoot if you're high. 
okay? Not gonna let you shoot. You, don't, you, you know what? You don't even have to be high, man. If you have that aroma about you, and you know, I don't know much about this, man. So I will defer to any expertise that other people have. I don't know how long the effects last. You know how long you can smell it, but there have been people that right. came through the event and said it had been quite some time. And in one case, someone said it was like the previous day or something. And I'm yeah, like, they were well, just around someone that was smoking or something. Or yeah, you might even be around someone you know that it was smoking. And it, and some of the stuff that's out there, you know, it's very pungent. And uh, right, right, you catch right. any of those, you know, scents, and you bring them with you, man. It, you may be all right and good to go, but I can't tell, and uh, I have to play on the side of caution. It's a liability. It's a liability. It's a liability yeah. issue. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, yeah. There it is. There it is. I, I'm just going to, you know, carefully state that because, you know, I don't want to be a killjoy. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news because I want folks to attend this event and to uh, come out and learn a few things and also – to have some fun shooting a gun is a lot of fun it is a lot of fun it is a lot of fun it is a lot of fun and, and, it's and, and it can help you and yeah. it can be expensive but see here's the thing this event is free and that's why it's important that as many women come out as possible right now if a if, if one of the dudes one of the fellas try to waltz uh, through the line, man. What you gonna tell them? Now, this is this is only for women, correct? This is only oh, for, see, for the... you know. I was I was entertaining that thought. Yeah, I would say that this is a women's only event. But I tell you what, regardless of the politics, man, you look me in the eye with a straight face and tell me you're a woman, I'll probably wave you on through. And just oh no, <laughs> hey man, I about to say we live in a day and age where you can't deny if somebody tell you that they're a woman, man, you'd be wrong if you tell them that they're not, man. You know what I mean? So right. Gotta, so you know what? You whatever <laughs> whatever you say you are, you know, uh, I'm going to roll with that because I'm not checking anything. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Hey, man, so uh, just just, just in, in, in last point, man, you know what I mean? Like I said, you've been doing this for a long time, man, and, um, uh, you know, we, we, we have a lot of situations in the city that's going on, man, and is this uh, part of the reason, uh, part of the motivation, the inspiration, and why you started uh, this this event to train specifically women. What was it that that uh, made oh, you man, feel like this was necessary? Question. Excellent question, man. It was exactly eleven years ago, man. I was watching a local newscast on TV. I was watching Fox Two, man, and they had this very disturbing story on the news. It was a story that recounted a woman's body being found just laying in an alley, laying on the street, man, like she was thrown away. And I say her body because she was obviously killed and someone had, you know, sexually assaulted her, had raped her. And I thought that this was a uh, particularly heinous thing, man, to happen. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things that for me personally, it, it was on my mind a lot, man. And I just couldn't get it out of my head. And I was thinking that, you know, maybe someone could do something about it, you know, like, could someone solve that problem? You know, right, yeah, right, we'd right. all like the, we'd all like the, the perpetrator or the bad guy to be caught and brought to justice, man. But how about taking it a step further, man? How about when someone tries to actually commit that evil against a person? that we do something to empower them to at least protect themselves, man. And, you know, I'm a firearms instructor, so what can I do, right? Right, 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 teach, right, right. Teach women how to shoot, right? I can do that. <laughs> and, and if I want them to do that, then how can I convince them to take me up on the offer? And the solution is to remove all barriers altogether, man. No admission fee. No gun, no ammunition, no targets, no eyewear, no earplugs, a target. I mean, just take care of every possible thing, right? I've done everything but find a babysitter, man. You, <laughs> you laugh, and I'm serious, man. I've done it all. All you have to do is get there. You're going to have a rain safety briefing. And this is to give you some basic fundamental information about guns. And if you just casually pay attention, you know, 
uh, gun safety is not rocket science. You don't need to be a genius. You just have to be exposed to the information and follow it each and every time that you, you know, handle a firearm. And so we tell you how to be safe with a gun and we demonstrate how to be safe with a gun. And then we take you to the booth. And here's the thing. We're not just going to leave you all brand new to guns and tell you, hey, do everything we taught you. Now, we're going to have a firearm instructor right there with you the entire time to make sure that you follow all the steps in the proper sequence and talk you through it and to have you confidently and accurately registering hits on your target, man. It's probably the best fun you could have, you know, in a day, man. You know, and I always joke and tell people that I can only think of two things that are more fun than shooting a gun. I'm not going to go into all of that on your show, man. <laughs> shooting a gun is a lot of fun, man. Yep, yep, man. It definitely is, man. And uh, like I said, you kind of you kind of opened me up to the to, to to the legal side of things as far as uh, carrying and just the benefits and, and all of that, man. Um, all the way down to the the legal firearm insurance. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, I had I had no clue about that whole world until I came to Rick Hector's. Uh, firearm class you know what i mean and uh yeah you that's, know, we, the, that's the thing that, that, that people really don't uh think about sometimes uh let's just say worst case scenario and i wouldn't want to wish this on anyone right let's say you're out and about you're legally carrying you know you got your license or you're properly open carrying i'm not even going to get into that whole conversation, but you're lawfully armed and you're somewhere you have a right to be, man. And right. Someone decides to either attempt to rape you, attempt to do you great bodily harm or attempt to kill you. Right. You have a legal right in the state of Michigan to defend yourself with lethal force, you know, without a duty to retreat. Right. So that means you don't have to try to run away first like we used to. So let's say worst case scenario, you're attacked and you defend yourself with your gun and you actually had to shoot this person. You know, what happens in the aftermath, right? Obviously you wait for the police to show up. Well, what do you say or what don't you say to the police? Uh, what happens after you get arrested? Yeah, you're going to get arrested. It's going to happen. I guarantee you, regardless of the circumstances, you shoot someone, they're going to take you for that ride down to the, you know, to the police station or to the detention center. And they're going to, you know, do their investigation and figure out what's what. So one key thing, you know, that you'll learn is that silence is your friend and it's probably a good idea to have an attorney. And uh, this uh, program offered by Firearm Legal Protection, you know, they're a sponsor of our event and uh, they provide a very cost effective solution to those uh, set of circumstances that you may find yourself in. I can't go into all of the the features of the Logistics. program. You know, there'll be a rep, you know, no obligation uh, rep at the event. And uh, if this sounds like something that you want to explore, and I definitely encourage people to do it. I'm a member of FLP myself. It's the it's a no brainer as I, as, as I am as well. You know, and I'm not tripping on myself, man. But there are people out, you know, in the Metro Detroit area, man. And I tell you generally speaking, there's two reactions if people recognize me, right? If they recognize me, they're like, hey, how you doing? You know, and they might ask me a question, you know, about guns or something. And then there's other people, man, who uh, don't have a very favorable opinion of me because they don't like what I do. I teach people how to defend themselves and I teach people how to carry guns. And there's some anti-gun people that don't like people that they, uh, they carry, carry guns, guns period. People, and some people get very nasty and ugly about it, you know. Right. I just try to keep it moving and stay out the way, man. I'm glad you brought that up, man. Um, kind of off stu uh, subject, but still on subject, man. Uh, as we're talking about the uh, the void that you feel with providing this class to, to, to the women, uh, we see a spike in uh, mass shootings right now in this country, right? So... Uh, since you since you have come up with and organized a plan uh, to uh, be proactive as opposed to reactive in solving the, the issue of the crime that is committed against women, um, what would you suggest 
um, with your observation and your expertise in this area could be done in the arena of mass shootings since gun control, gun control, gun control is always what's, uh, the, what the, what's the cry anytime a situation happens like this. What is it that you feel like could be or should be done uh, to combat that problem in our country? Well, you know, uh, and, and it's really coincidental that you bring this question up, man, because we literally saw this event play out just the other day. You know, there was an event somewhere and some, uh, I think it was like an 18-year-old, 19-year-old with a gun flipped hmm. out and went crazy and was shot a couple people. And from the, the, the accounts I've heard, less than maybe 30, 40 seconds later, you know, a... And, you know, the term that we like to use, a good guy with a gun was there, realized what was happening and quickly made that crazy guy stop, man. And, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it happened. I mean, the violence started so quickly. But here's the thing. You had a good person who was able to make him stop, make him stop quickly. And, yeah, I believe there were three people the last time I checked on the story who died. And I think there were two other people that got shot. No. But there could have been a ton of people who could have been injured because a lot of these these people who do these types of events, they go to places which are, you know, labeled or designated Gun free. as free zones. And I, and I was about to say, not, not not to cut you off, I wanted to, I, I, remember, I believe I'm familiar with this situation. Now, didn't this actually happen in a so-called gun-free zone? It, well, you know, it wasn't a legal gun-free zone. It was like a business owner. And if you own a business, you have a right to put up signs, right? Okay. And their preference was to put up a sign that they didn't want customers on their premises, you know, carrying guns there. You know, and if it's not against the law, you know, some states it is, but just merely putting up a sign doesn't mean that you're uh, breaking the law. It doesn't means make it an ordinance or... Right. You, know, you just chose not to, uh, you know, follow that recommendation. Now, if you happen to be carrying concealed and you don't do a good job of it, and some people, man, I mean, you probably see them out and about and they're carrying concealed, but based on their clothing choice or based on how they carry it, you can pretty much tell that they're, you know, carrying a gun, right? right, right, right. You know me, I'm always looking because... <laughs> You know, it's almost like a hobby of mine. You know, I'm carrying, and I'm, I don't want you to see mine, but it's kind of moot in my case because if you recognize me, you're probably guessing right. He probably got a gun. You know who he is, yeah. right? Yeah, and so I'm looking at you trying to see if you got one, you know, and, and here's the thing. Sometimes I can find it on people, and sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm not sure. But right. uh, it's like one of those hobbies I, I gauge in when I'm out and about, man. I uh, – don't let strangers get close to me. I keep my distance, and I'm checking for guns, man. Right, right. So at the end of the day, like you say, as far as as far as combating the issue of of, of um, the mass shootings, you would just say uh, arm more people, huh? What, what what is that? Is that arm the... more people, man? Let me tell you. If I thought that I wanted to commit some violent, heinous act. If I thought I was going someplace where someone could make me stop, I probably won't go there to do this atrocity. You know, I'm a proponent of just getting rid of gun-free zones altogether, man. But you know, some people aren't I mean, yeah, ready. Because if you that. look, if you look, a lot of the mass shootings or or uh, the the major incidents that we have involving guns like this that hit the news are all at or around the gun-free zones. We're talking about schools and churches, right? Right. These are well, see, these two the places thing. that you're not supposed to bring guns. Well, there's quite a few places where you can't, you know, carry right, guns. Right, yeah. But, here, but here, here's well, I mean, we've had, listen, I mean, it, it, here's the thing, right? Uh, okay, we just had, I don't know if you're familiar with the situation. I know you're not really uh, too into the newer age hip-hop scene, right? But uh, Yo oh, Gotti, man, who's a... You, you're about to embarrass me now, man. No, 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 I understand because there's, uh, there's uh, a, a guy named... Line after a certain point, man, <laughs> I just don't, I can't keep up anymore, man. No, most definitely, but I'm just speaking on the situation. We had a concert uh, that was thrown by a very popular uh, hip-hop artist recently, Yo Gotti. He had his uh, CMG Fest for his label, and uh, a guy was just stopped um, from uh, doing a mass shooting at his concert. I believe it was at a stadium in Memphis, and uh, because he said he broke up with his girlfriend, and he had just uh, arrived at the stadium, and they, I forget, they took an arsenal of weapons off him, and they said that he said that he was about to go in there and shoot people. 
uh, because he was mad that he lost his girlfriend at a stadium. Again, another, quote, gun-free zone. Yeah, man. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know what? If you are willing to kill a lot of strangers who did nothing to you because a woman broke up with you, man, yeah, there's something wrong with you, you know. Um, I realize, you know, people are in love and all of that, man, but it's not that serious. Yeah, I was just speaking on how it was, it was you know, we got the schools, the churches, and now it was a recent one that was attempted at a stadium. You know what I mean? They're all gun-free zones. So, like you said, it's kind of... Uh, uh, um, you know, obvious that the gun free zones need to be banished because these are places that the criminals look at as soft targets and well, places see, that they can it, go it, to it, actually this commit these crimes. Is, this conversation is really relevant when you bring up the fact that here in Metro Detroit, and I'm not going to mention her name, but if you're politically astute and keep current, you know who I'm talking about. Our county clerk is taking anywhere from six months to eight months, and in some cases up to a year to approve your concealed pistol license, right? You, let, no, 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 not to approve it. What they're doing is taking up to six months to a year to give you an appointment to come in and turn in your application and pay your application fee, right? Wow. And so, and then on top of that, you got another 30, 40 days for them to approve it. But here's the thing. People need a gun now. And you got to wait anywhere from six months to a year to just turn in your application to get one after you've taken the training. I mean, and it's been this bad for so long, man, that in, in some ways, man, I'm at the point now, you know, I'm, I'm telling people, hey, be careful who you vote for. You can find a county clerk, you know, running for office, you know, in Wayne County who who is uh, uh, dedicated enough to the job to process applications in a timely fashion. I mean, when you look at it, have they really slowed up death certificates or have they slowed up birth certificates? No. Any probably... other any other uh paperwork that's processed through the county clerk. Has it you know, has the process became any longer? I get what you're saying. So it's almost like so, I mean if they can do these doing other this things, to the gun, yeah. If they can process, you know, all these other important documents, what makes a, a concealed pistol license any different, man? You kind of uh, answer my it, question it, before I even ask it. I was going to say, so do you think like it's a specific reason why they're uh, almost redlining the, the the CPL licenses, uh, preventing people from getting? It, them? I, I don't. I can't say factually. I'm just saying, in my opinion, they are not pro gun, and I think they're trying to actively discourage people. You know. Maybe they think that as our government officials that it's their job to protect us and keep hmm. us safe rather than read the Constitution. But, you know, that's, that's another argument for another day. I mean, it's so bad for so long. I'm at the point now where, look, just, just get rid of the licenses all together. And if you're, I don't know, whatever age we agree upon, if you're 18 and can pass a, a background to own a gun, you know what? Bam. You can automatically, legally conceal or open carry your pistol wherever you have a legal right to be. Let's let's just be done with these this whole concealed pistol license all together. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh man, he's a firearms instructor. He's trying to put himself out of business. Look, man, I have many <laughs> talents, many skills, brother. I will survive. Well, yeah, man. Uh and, and that's a that's a something to open our minds, man, and, and have people think about exactly what needs to be done to to you know, fix this issue. That's that's an interesting thought. Just uh, just get rid of the CPL. Just get rid of it all together, man. If if you're if you're a decent person, you have a decent background. Uh, you know, go buy a gun and carry a gun. Just carry it wherever you can legally do it. I mean, without having to apply for a license and and having to reapply, like. Why in the world do we have to keep reapplying for a license every four or five years anyway, man? Anyway, Why? right. I mean, because if you're accused of doing something bad, they're going to suspend it automatically on the spot anyway until, you know, the issue is resolved. So, I mean, what's the point? There it is. Well, the point of this is to inform people about the event. So let us know uh, one more time. <laughs> right. 
Let's get one, back to what, what one, we're doing here, right? One more time, you know what I mean, before we get up out of here and let everybody right. know this, what's going on this weekend that Brother Rick has had, has organized for the great for the great women of Michigan. Man, this upcoming weekend, Friday and Saturday, July 30th and 31st, I will be having a free shooting event for interested women at two gun ranges over at uh, Top Gun Shooting Sports and at, over at Recoil Park. Why don't we have any gun ranges in Detroit? Politics and racism, and it goes back decades. There's a history lesson there. Maybe the next time I come on, we'll talk about the history of gun control in Detroit. Talk about Dr. Mm, good, that but back like a good conversation. The subject, but on the, on, back onto the topic at hand. This Saturday and Sunday, free shooting lessons for women. You don't need to have anything. Rick will have it all. You will have safety glasses, hearing protection. I'll provide you with a gun, ammunition, give you a target. You'll be paired up one-on-one -on -one with the firearms instructor to coach you. You'll have a rain safety briefing. You know, we're doing it at two locations, two days. So come at the appointed time, and if everything happens the way it's supposed to, you won't be there long. You know, you'll get your range briefing. You'll be paired up with an instructor. You'll shoot. You'll have fun. And all I ask is that when you're done shooting and you put all those holes in your target, take a picture of you with your target and post it on my page. And uh, give me, like, enough pictures to make a little scrapbook for, a little for collage. this collage. And then one of these days when I'm older and grayer, I'll have this great uh collection of pictures of folks that I help uh, facilitate getting proficient with firearms and I can sing my swan song one day. Hey man, you uh I'm sure you got I'm sure you got a nice collection of those already, man. You've been helping out a lot of people um since I've met you, man. You know what I mean? So I'm sure you got a lot of people that you know appreciate what? You've you. Known you for a long time now, I've man. Been, uh, yeah, man. It's been it's been a while, a man. Long time. It's been a while, man. Like I said, and just uh, just like you said, you watch me. I've been watching you, man, and you've you you know you touched a lot of people, you, including myself. You know what I mean? Like I said, I appreciate you every time. Uh, talk to you for uh, you know lining me up with all of the information that you have, and you know uh, um, you know especially like I said, man. I I know um, you know from being from the east side, right? You yeah, probably I, think that I know yeah, a whole you, lot. It's not everything still, about you guns, still, right? You still on this? You still off the main street that matters, right? I, I'm still off the main street that matters, man. So you know, you still taught this East Sider, you know, a little bit of something, something but about you on Seven Mile, man. I'm on Seven Mile, man. I'm definitely <laughs> on Seven Mile, man. So uh, you know, like I said, I appreciate you, man. Every time, man, uh, speaking with you, man, I learn something new every time we talk. And uh, you know, like I said, I'm gonna keep bringing the people. Yeah, your, your information as much as I can. And speaking of, we'll be back Thursday, right? Same time. We'll be back Thursday. Same bat time, same Same bat, bat channel. channel. Exactly. Did you exactly. ever watch the original Batman show? Wait yes. Batman? Yes. I yeah. know exactly where that came from. Yes. Yes. They were still in like running around in pajamas. This was before a cartoon. They was <laughs> running around in pajamas. Right. I remember. You might have man. some youngins listening to the show and they might not catch the record. They like, no, what the hell is these old guys talking about, man? What right, talking right, about, man? Right, 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 right. But yeah, but man, man uh, back. I, uh, I want to let you know I appreciate you coming on and letting me do this and uh, extending the invitation to do it again. And we'll probably mix in some different things. I know we brought up some tangential subjects, man, and that'll be uh, food for thought to explore if we want to take it there on the next visit on uh, Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As well, as well, man. And then, you know, as we talked, man, uh, uh, the other day I solidified the whole situation about the uh, the, the, the live podcast, the pod uh that I was telling you about. You know what I mean? We're going to do a real big event in the end of September, and then I'm hoping that you come out and be a guest speaker at that. Yeah, man, I mean, as, as you were telling me about it, I was looking at when was the uh, – gun rights policy conference going to be and i don't see a conflict there man so yeah my schedule oh, is there's no conflicts there i just have to make sure i don't do anything crazy like schedule a, a class on that day but other than that man i'll keep 
that date in mind, block it off, and not schedule a class on that day, and I'll definitely be a part. All right, man. We're gonna have you on the flyer, man, and uh, you know, have your your uh, Rick's Firearm Academy of Detroit logo on the flyer, man, and have you as a partner on the event, man. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, look forward to seeing you on Thursday and informing the people that didn't catch it today because we're gonna spam this video out to a lot of people and uh, get this on, get this out. <laughs> right, here, man. man. We gotta spam get this it all out, over man. the place, man. Most definitely, we gotta get I this all, out here. I need all the help I can get. If there's anyone that's watching this either live or on the replay. Do me a favor, repost this video, a link to it on your timeline, and maybe throw a little editorial. Hey, free gun lessons for women. Check it out and put the link there. And uh, let's try to go viral undercover. You know, Facebook, you know, they, they want people to advertise on their platform, and I don't have a problem with it. You know, and they even give me those annoying messages. Hey, you should be advertising. So, you know what? I actually tried to advertise, man. They don't like what I talk about, and so they won't let me advertise. And there so. you go. There you go. It's kind of like a, no, a catch-22. No, I have to do it the underground. You got to be now. organic. You just got to do it yeah. organic. And that's why, we, that's why we're here. You can't miss the organic. And we're going to go ahead and get it on there and get it together. You know what I'm saying? I like that, Mr. Views, Organic. Mr. Okay. Organic Views over here, man. And we're going to get it together right. and get you out there, man. And yeah, I'm going to try to pop up on you Saturday, man, with the camera. Uh, get a little oh, coverage man, no, on No, no, no. Don't ever try to do anything, man. Don't I mean, yeah, you yeah, you know, I mean, you know, we got just we, we just got the podcast schedule uh, uh, here at the studio. That's the only thing man, here. But, you know why? But, I, rumor on the street is, and I haven't seen it with my own eyes, but uh -oh. rumor on the street is, is that you have the Seven Mile Radio News Van. Yes, probably, sir. We actually probably do. Ha, it probably has a recording studio already inside <laughs> of it. It's probably got a couch, a reclining chair. It's probably got oh, a man. snack bar. It's it's, it's got coming. A mini fridge in there. It's coming, man. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming, man. So yeah, we. That's part of the reason, man. But yeah, but 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 for that reason, and because of that, is the exact reason why we might just we we we, we might pop up on you. Okay, this Saturday. Hey, so man, turn uh, up, man. Go ahead, turn up. All right, that's probably that's what's going to that's what's going to happen then, bro. And uh, once again, man, I appreciate you, man, just putting together everything that you put together for our community, man, and uh, bringing the information that you have, man, because it's always valuable, it's always needed, and necessary, and relevant, uh, especially in the city of Detroit. So, hey, uh, hats off to you, brother. Thank you for having me, and uh, do it again Thursday, one p.m. Eastern Standard Time. When people see this video and now they know if they watch it they know that we're talking about thursday so maybe we'll get even more people watching we'll get thursday. more people exactly most definitely 1 p.m same page for everybody that's watching on youtube and facebook make sure you follow and subscribe to the page that you tune into and uh right now and we'll be back thursday man good talking to you brother rick always man always a pleasure and again thank you and let's do it again thursday most definitely, most definitely. We will, man. Good talking to you.